Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you are new, hopefully you like what you see and you'll like and you'll comment and you'll subscribe um, so you won't miss an upload and so you'll be caught up on all of my content. Um, today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a, another Young and Rich debt-free journey update. And today I'm going to be talking with y'all about the benefits of you know organizing your money with multiple accounts attached to multiple debit cards um but before we get into the video you guys tell me what you think of my hair i'm trying something new these are kind of like um diy hot roller curls i did flat iron my hair and bump it but instead of hot rolling it um i just took my finger rolled my hair and pin it pinned it so like pin curls i guess you could say um let me know what you think of my face and my look and my hair i would love to do more beauty videos if you guys are into that and you know all that good stuff so let's go ahead and jump into the video okay so y'all know that i love talent and ty mcneely um over at his or her money if you guys don't watch them and if you are trying to get into the whole um financially lit world um and if you're you know trying to organize your money and just be more financially responsible go to them they are like money mommy and daddy for me um and in one of their earlier videos they have a video on how and why they have 13 bank accounts um to organize their money whether that be for their three kids i think it's three or four kids that they have groceries cars just all of these things that they have accounts for that they use money on and that it varies from like savings accounts to checking accounts and all that kind of stuff so um, when I first came across this video I was like yeah you know that would keep you super organized but it seems excessive and what bank is gonna let you open you know multiple accounts um, and so as I'm going on this debt-free journey and as I'm thinking about what I'm using my money on now and what I want to use my money on in the future once I do become debt free I thought I'd give it a try and see how you know it would work for me so I'm gonna pull it up on my iPad here because I have a whole Excel sheet and chart of how I organize my finances hopefully y'all can see that um, so right now I'm banking at two banks both of them are credit unions um, and I love Delta Community Credit Union and Georgia's own credit union. The customer service is great. Um, if you're in the Atlanta area, they have multiple branches across the state. Um, I love their online banking features. I don't get to go in the bank as much, so I love the online features that they have. Um, also, just banking at a credit union has a lot of perks and a, and a lot more security compared to just a regular bank. I think I also have a video on that too. Um, but anyway, so um, at bank number one, I have checking accounts for bills. So at the top of the month, I put however much cumulative money my bills comes out to and it stays in there for the entire month and that money um, gets deducted via automated, automated payments. Yeah. Um, and then I have a checking account for car slash uber and i have one for my student loans that money goes in there at the top of the month and as my student loans come around to be paid it's um automatically deducted through automatic payments and i have two savings accounts now at bank number two which i recently opened that's where all of my like all the accounts are <laughs> basically um and i like georgia's own because they let you open like multiple accounts which was great and that was the biggest issue for me with this organizing my money kind of thing because I was just like who's gonna let me have that many accounts and I'm not trying to have accounts at like five different banks um so the first one is for my future dog that I'm saving for and once I get her um you know outside of the money that I'm putting in that to buy her once I get her um like money for like her vet bills and toys and just her maintenance overall she she has her own account and then i have one for my mary Kay business i have one for me like my fun money if i want to get my hair done if i want to get my nails done if i want to do a little bit of shopping that money is mine um i have one to support my pageant habit 
um, coaching and gowns and accessories and travel expenses and entry fees and all that stuff. Um, and then I have one for vacation. And then I have three savings accounts for Christmas, annual giving, and then just another general savings account. Um, so I've had all of these accounts um, for about two weeks now that all of these accounts have been open maybe, probably like two and a half and I will say that it is helping me so far keep my money really 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 organized and knowing how much money I have in every account and just not having I mean when you have like two or three accounts you have to kind of calculate things on your head in your head and on your own like oh I spent this much money on gas and I need to make sure that this money is still there for bills and you know I want to buy this for myself and you're operating out of just one or two accounts but with multiple accounts it seems excessive but it has really really been helping me y'all um so I just wanted to give an update on that and maybe um just give it to you guys to see if it'll be helpful um but I like it it has really been working for me so far um and i thought that i would it would be kind of a burden going between two banks and having multiple accounts at both but with online banking nowadays it is so easy and um i'm a nanny i am in child care full time so i get paid through like outlets like paypal and venmo and cash app and all that kind of stuff so that makes it also super duper easy and I would imagine if you have like a more traditional job where you have direct deposit, it would still be easy um, because a lot of payment is electronic nowadays. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. I just want to encourage y'all to try it, see how it works for you. Um, as far as or most of those, the checking accounts, I have debit cards attached to all of those. Um, so a way that you could organize them is label them and, and store them away in a safe place and then over time, you will just recognize them um, and memorize them. And that was another thing that kind of scared me. It's like, oh, I have like, you know, multiple cards now. Like, how am I supposed to remember which goes to which? Um, but I did come up with an organization system where I write them down and write the information that goes with the card down. And I store it in a safe place that's unaccessible um, to like an everyday average person and over time I just remember them I also don't it also is keeping me very intentional because I don't carry all of those cards with me um so it keeps me really intentional when I'm going out or when I'm shopping so you know I'm not spending money um on one thing with a card that's not attached to that account if that makes sense so it keeps me really intentional and really responsible um with my shopping um, so overall it seems excessive but once you get into it and if you really really want to keep organized with your money this way it can work to your advantage um so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe engage with me in the comments let me know what you guys want to see next let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this look on this hair and i will see you on the next video bye